As you know, cardiac MRI is a cutting-edge technology for the assessment of the anatomy and function of the heart. But there is still some limitation, especially because of the acquisition time, which is longer than other examination. Also, it requires an uh, iterative result that can be difficult to manage for some patients. My team and I, we were very enthusiastic about evaluating complete sensing that provide from one single breath hold all the Cine images, namely the short axis stack, the long axis and the four chamber. But we wanted to evaluate the accuracy of this new method to assess volumes and function of the left ventricle. We had some data from the literature and we find um, the same result in terms of uh, uh, the good concurrence with the gold standard, which is SSFP in terms of volumes and function. But we also evaluated comprehensing uh, for the evaluation of the right ventricle, and we didn't find any a clinically significant difference uh, between the two techniques. So comprehensing is a very promis uh, promising technique to evaluate both ventricles. We also um, research if we uh, missed some motion abnormality and we didn't. And we also look at the um, regu regurgitation related flow void and we uh, pick them up in every uh, cases. Another thing that we evaluated the compressed sensing uh, as a free breathing acquisition and uh, it's a, um, a, a it's a possibility to uh, use compressed sensing with free breathing to assess both front ventricles, especially when the condition of the patient makes them not to be able to uh, hold their breath. From my point of view, compressed sensing is a great tool for every patient, especially because we can reduce the acquisition time. But more precisely, in patients that come all their breath, compressed sensing allow uh, us to uh, scan them in very good condition. And in uh, the field of cardiac MRI, uh, most of the patients with cardiovascular condition have uh, uh, difficulties to hold their breath. And another point is patients with arrhythmia, which is also a big challenge with a, a CMR. A compressed sensing is a great tool to uh, um, erase mistriggering artifacts and that's why we found in our experience with the uh, compressed sensing technique uh, we found that we uh, could see less mistriggering artifacts, we could see less uh, motion, heart, uh, motion artifacts and uh, this is a, 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 a solution to scan all these patients that were uh, tricky to scan before. The first step of uh, using compressed sensing were to uh, cut down the acquisition time. But we can also use compressed sensing to improve the temporal and spatial resolution. And in the future, I believe that compressed sensing will be a tool to assess the old volume of the Cine uh, acquisition, namely a 3D Cine acquisition. It will be, be very interesting in patients with complex anatomy, especially in congenital uh, heart disease patients.